get it done, we pretty much have to commit to it in the next four weeks. Yeah. And uh, you know, we've only owned the team for two weeks. Uh, that's normally a six, you know, six months of planning before you push the button. We're trying to do it in six weeks. So we're trying. We met with uh, uh, most of the major suppliers already, and uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it, I, 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 we're, we're, oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, but, it is. but but we can make it so it's a more customized experience for you. 
Now, now when you mentioned phones, um, I, I've heard some feedback about people having trouble, like just like getting onto the networks from inside the stadium, yes. like yeah. packed houses. Like, was there any way you could like, I don't know, get with Sprint, AT and T, whoever, to like get a phone tower, to, like actually like for the stadium? I mean, even next door, you could like work with them in conjunction. To it. Yeah, I, actually, it's ironic. Right. Kevin Slowly pitches for the Twins. Mm -hmm. His, uh, he, he's from the same town that. And I'm from in Pittsburgh, and his father, Pat, and I coached Little League together for years um, with Kevin's younger brother. So Pat was down here for the Twin Series, and he works for a company that does that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we actually talked about, uh, I mean, it, 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 not necessarily with a tower, it could be with fiber, but yeah, but the, the phone service is not good in the park for any carrier. It's not a matter of one carrier down. But there are ways to improve it um, uh, that I didn't even know about. First time I told him that it was okay that he wore a twins cap for the three games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we know that needs to be improved. Well, I know there was some talk, depending on who bought the team, that there was some look at before we move into Dallas or do a new stadium or something. It sounds like sounds like the stadiums, if everything's going to stay here, we're staying in TBIA or at least for the foreseeable future. Well, I, I never understood what the discussion was about because. It's a 14-year lease, so I mean, you know, contracts and contracts. So I, I, I never really understood that. I mean, it, it, at some point there'll be, I mean, well down the road, there'll be time to think about whether, given the advances in engineering and technology, does it make more sense to think about a new facility or to put, you know, big, big dollars into this facility? But, but that's a long time from now, and you know, I try to focus on the things that are, are timely, and, and that isn't. So I. I I never spent 30 seconds thinking about that. One. So one of the, we, one of the we, we had a couple other things we needed to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> one of the few people that's been banned, that was his bit, was, you know, the ballpark needs to be in Dallas, and, wow. you know, and Rangers want to be in Well, what I'm more focused on what is about that, how do I make it as easy as possible for people yeah. to get here, regardless of what direction they're coming from? And, real, and also, real. and, and so I, I agree with that. No, I know I've already talked to Jerry about that too. Like, try to see what, what we can do to get light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. No, but you know, it's something that it, it is something no. that we want to that we want to pursue. And um, but the other thing, part of it is just you know, particularly with the progress on various road construction, it's a whole lot easier to come here from the east than it was before. Oh, yeah. yeah. But. It, it, you know, and, and that's where the Cowboys media really helps because not only, well, not only has 